Bereshit chapter 48 And after these events it came to be that it was said to Yosef, See, your father is sick. And he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And Yaakov was told, See, your son Yosef is coming to you. And Yisrael strengthened himself and sat up on the bed. And Yaakov said to Yosef, El Shaddai appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me, and said to me, See, I am making you fruitful, and shall increase you and make of you an assembly of peoples, and give this land to your seed after you as an everlasting possession. And now, your two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, who were born to you in the land of Mitzrayim, before I came to you in Mitzrayim, are mine, as Reuben and Shimon, they are mine. Your offspring whom you shall bring forth after them are yours, and let them be called by the name of their brothers in their inheritance. And I, when I came from Padan, Rachel died beside me in the land of Canaan on the way, when there was but a little distance to go to Ephrath. And I buried her there on the way to Ephrath, that is, Beit Lechem. And Yisrael saw Yosef's sons, and said, Who are these? And Yosef said to his father, They are my sons, whom Elohim has given me in this place. And he said, Please bring them to me, and let me bless them. And the eyes of Yisrael were dim with age, and he was unable to see. And he drew them near him, and he kissed them, and embraced them. And Yisrael said to Yosef, I had not thought to see your face, but see, Elohim has also shown me your seed. So Yosef brought them from between his knees, and he bowed down with his face to the earth. And Yosef took them both, Ephraim with his right hand, toward Yisrael's left hand, and Manasseh with his left hand, toward Yisrael's right hand, and brought them near him. And Yisrael stretched out his right hand, and laid it on Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand on Manasseh's head, consciously directing his hands, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Yosef, and said, The Elohim before whom my fathers, Avraham and Yitzchak, walked, the Elohim who has fed me all my life long to this day, the messenger who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the youths, and let my name be called upon them, and the name of my fathers, Avraham and Yitzchak, and let them increase to a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Yosef saw that his father laid his right hand on the head of Ephraim, it was evil in his eyes, and he took hold of his father's hand to remove it from the head of Ephraim to the head of Manasseh. And Yosef said to his father, Not so, my father, for this one is the firstborn. Put your right hand on his head. But his father refused and said, I know, my son, I know. He also becomes a people, and he also is great. And yet his younger brother is greater than he, and his seed is to become the completeness of the nations. And he blessed them on that day, saying, In you Israel shall bless, saying, Elohim make you as Ephraim and as Manasseh. Thus he put Ephraim before Manasseh. And Yisrael said to Yosef, See, I am dying, but Elohim shall be with you and bring you back to the land of your fathers. And I, I have given to you one portion above your brothers, which I took from the hand of the Amorite with my sword and with my bow.